Hello, happy whatever day you're seeing this. I am so irritated right now. I just recorded, I got this new Sony camera, still playing around with the settings. Don't quite know exactly what I'm doing, but I got this new camera and I was so excited about it. And I recorded a bunch of clips, a nightly vlog, and one of the clips did not have any sound. And then the other one, I thought I fully filmed our dinner. We made the most delicious, um, what are they called, hamburger bowls. So it's basically like a deconstructed hamburger. And um, yeah, it didn't, didn't record literally any of it. I recorded like four seconds. So that's on me and my technical difficulties. But I'm about to go hop in the shower. Um, there's some weird setting with the skin on this. I gotta get that figured out, but um, I'm gonna go hop in the shower now and then I'm gonna get to bed and read a little bit of <laughs> this book, which is super wild. We're here. Um, and I'm also gonna do my nails, which I'll talk about in a minute. So, oh, my legs hurt from tonight's workout. Ooh. Are you gonna put you down though? Are you gonna get mad at me? I'm sorry if the coloring's off. Um, so, I'm flossing. I've, okay, I have to floss. And what I do is my tretinoin, I have to let it sit for a few. So I'm gonna do the skincare partially, do the tretinoin, floss, brush my teeth, and then finish it. So I'll start out first and foremost, this Milky Toner. So good, I usually steer clear of this brand because I was just so afraid. I had always heard like, I think it's, what do they have, like a witch hazel or something? Toner, not me and my skin. No, no. Um, my skin is starting to look so good from the tretinoin and I can start to see the light scarring down here is going away. And before any of you guys message me and tell me that I shouldn't be on it because I'm on rosacea, a dermatologist gave it to me because there were like newer studies about tretinoin and rosacea and how certain kinds of rosacea can be helped by it. And I'm so frustrated of people just being like, you have rosacea, you shouldn't be doing that. Nope, can't do that treatment. You have rosacea. It's like, people with rosacea are just kind of like, sorry, you can't have that. And then they just move on. Like there's no solution. So finally to have something that not only is working and getting rid of the redness, like I also don't think my rosacea is even as bad as I thought it was. And I have probably the mildest form of rosacea possible. Um, but it's working so well. I'm starting to like actually wonder if maybe because I just like have a scar red. Um, I mean, I have sensitive skin, but like I scar red. So I wonder how much of my skin is rosacea and how much of it is like those red scars. So dermatologist gave it to me. Um, this is also a Zalic acid, great for redness. Um, it has niacinamide and vitamin C in it as well. So those are good. I'll link all of this, of course. Favorite lash serum, favorite brow serum. You guys, I get compliments on my lashes all the time and people are like, what mascara are you using? It ain't the mascara, it's the lash serum. I had been using that for six weeks and I was like, and I've been at this point using it for like six months and it's just only gotten better and better. So those, eye cream. Best eye cream, it's hydrating, it's soft, it helps dark circles. I was using Cetaphil, but that one, actually has like anti-aging properties in it, whatever it's called. I think it says anti-aging properties, anti-aging something. Um, and it was like burning. So went back to Old Faithful. It's got peptides in it, hydrating, again, helps dark circles, the whole nine. So it's a winner. Tretinoin, really it's this part down here. I've noticed such a reduction in the redness. It is insane. All right, gotta let that sit for 10 minutes and then I'm not gonna floss in front of you guys because that's just not a cute look. All right, it's been about five, eight-ish minutes. I don't know, what am I looking for? It's literally right in front of me. Moisturizer to make sure we don't get too dry. And our, the purging phase with tretinoin actually was not that bad. I feel like because my acne was that bad, so. There's that, okay. Retinol lotion, use it 
on my neck. It says it's for face and neck. Don't use it on your face. Need something different for your face. Probably something stronger. And I also put it on my stretch marks that are very, very low. But I went from having four stretch marks to three. So it is definitely working. They're fading very slowly. So um, I've been using it religiously since the day I finished breastfeeding. And Roman is now eight and a half months old. Oh my gosh. So it works really well. Um, but you have to be consistent. I'll see people be like, oh, I used it for six weeks and it didn't work, so I stopped. I'm like, guys, mm -mm. It takes so much longer, especially for topical, just like a lotion. Anti-inflammatory. Because that's what I take it for. This helps my TMJ so much. Cycle regulation. And then, lastly, if this video goes up while the Sephora still is, Sephora sale is still going on, um, get you some dry shampoo. Y'all know my love for this brand. Runs deep. And I have oily hair, but I definitely only put dry shampoo in my hair now. One night before bed. And then not again, because. I just have started washing my hair more and it is so much healthier. So it is now 10 o'clock at night and I'm gonna go pop some Impress nails on while we watch NCIS just simply because it takes like, I don't know, 10 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do. Next time you see these nubs, they're gonna be pretty and red. Good morning. Happy Friday. Well, it's Friday when I'm filming this. Um, so I had to get a new phone brand new phone because I shattered my two of my back cameras so that was fun um I just had it overnighted because it costs like six bucks to have that shipping or I think it's like free shipping is like next week or like eight shipping was Monday eight dollar shipping was Monday and I was like I'm just gonna pay to have it overnighted so I can get this done kind of can't be without a phone camera in my line of work. Talked up about this in the last vlog. I'll kind of talk briefly about it here. Mariah R15, it gets you 15% off these. These are the greens that I take. They are absolutely amazing for you. Um, antioxidants, they help improve digestion. There's so many things. This is chlorophyll. It is like, I kind of, what do I refer, it's, I refer to this as like a booster for this. It also, the lime twist tastes so good. A few of you guys actually told me about this. Um, it just like makes this taste even better. And then I do Armour Colostrum because, well this I can't, no these two, I don't have a discount code for the chlorophyll and the Armour. Um, I have a discount code for the, for the U. But I just absolutely love doing these, I have noticed such a reduction in my bloating specifically um, since I started doing this. Like really, it has helped in digestion a ton, but the bloating has been amazing. Um, and then like I tell y'all, you know, still eat your greens. We mix everything in this tiny little cup that I thought was gonna be so much bigger. When these came in, I was like, what am I supposed to do with that? We just chug it after we stir it. Okay. Cheers. People who sip on their greens impress me. That ain't the life for me. They taste fine, I just... I like to enjoy things I sip on. You're definitely getting a lot more confident with it, kiddo. Yeah, you guys sit down. You were just sitting down so good. <laughs> Sam, he is so cute. You do not need to take that in the laundry room. What are you doing, silly bitty? Um, ooh, I gotta clean this too. What are you doing? Hi. Haven't we learned the hard way that the table's not our friend? 
feel like we've learned this row. On another note, I absolutely love this new camera. I feel like it's a little bit more DSLR and just because it's newer, I didn't know all the settings and stuff. So I just, I don't know if I've said this, but I really, really like this vlog camera so far because it just seems a little bit nicer and more custom. So tomorrow my grandparents are coming into town. So they live in Florida. Between her side and our side, I think they have like 14 grandkids. Great grandkids, I mean. Um, it's crazy. <laughs> so a lot of us have birthdays coming up, so they're like not gonna be able to come to every single birthday. So they're like kind of doing a swoop, swooping through and seeing like the first group of grandkids who have birthdays coming up. And that's what they're coming up to see. Um, well, and bro, but specifically E's birthday was the other day. So um, they're coming up to see him tomorrow. So I actually have to clean today. My house is fairly decent so far, but um, I do need like to do floors, toilets, you know, got a vacuum, the whole, the whole night. So today's going to be a little bit of a busier day because I do have to just sprinkle that into everything else. But <clears throat> this weekend, I'm hoping we go to the, you guys ever heard of the Hub City Hog Fest in Spartanburg? I went, so I want to say it might have been two years ago, maybe last year, it was two years ago. I ended up having to go to Spartanburg for something. And I was like, holy crap, what is that amazing smell? And it was, I think the Hub City Hog Fest was like about to end and so I couldn't make it in time with what I was doing. I can't remember what it was. But ever since then, I've always wanted to go because the food smelled so good. And it supports like, I think it's Meals on Wheels or like Spartanburg's version of Meals on Wheels. So I've wanted to go to that since I smelled that delicious food. And um, I think we're actually gonna try this year. And then Sunday, I am so excited. It is supposed to be 82. 82, 82 degrees. So um, we are gonna get out the inflatable pool for the boys. We're also going to do, I think we actually might even get the water table out today because it's supposed to be pretty today, which is so nice because it has not been the prettiest week. Um, this past week it's been rainy and kind of colder. So we're doing water table today, blow up pool Sunday. I might invite um, some friends over. They can bring their little one. But I just, I cannot wait for warmer weather. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get ready now. I did link up all of my skincare. I'll try and take a photo after I um, finish my makeup and I'll post it on LCK with all my like makeup links and stuff. I still don't have the lighting settings right on this camera. Like I haven't quite figured them out a little bit. And you guys are also to the side because of how small my tripod is, but I will link all of my like kind of go-to makeup stuff as well. Because lately I have been um, very much so a creature of habit, not changing anything up. I like the same couple things and I like a lot of liquid products which are just so much nicer when you are on tretinoin because I feel like when you use heavy products and if you use specifically a lot of powder, it tends to kind of show if you are going through a purging phase or have any texture that hasn't yet been refined, like it just shows a lot with that. So I really love uh, liquid products with, oh my arm, with tretinoin. Oh, last night was a, I did Caroline Gerben workout and I've started to push myself. I actually had to buy tens. So I have three weights with that are 12s and then eights. And you guys know like that can sound so deceiving. Like you hear eight pounds and you're like, that's a really lightweight. 12 pounds, that's really lightweight. And then you use it over and over and over again when you're weightlifting and it is so painful. So anyways, 12 was a little bit too much for some of the workouts, especially towards the end. Um, and then eight was not heavy enough and I don't have tens. So I had to order um, some 10 pound weights last night, but whew, it was leg night and um, my, my arms feel like they're gonna fall off. So it is gonna be interesting to see how this day goes because Roman usually loves to be held all day when Sam and I are home, so. 
You know what? I guess we'll just go ahead and do it real quick. We'll just do it while we're here. I think I'm probably gonna start another vlog later for the cleaning portion. We're just gonna do this as all my favorites. We did help in the last one. Why not do beauty favorites in this one? So these are kind of my been my go-to lately. This is what I'm talking about as far as creature of habit. So this is the best concealer. I've never used it. I Tower, I don't even know if that's actually like the full brand name. I heard about it from Avery Woods. But it is so hydrating. I feel like someone said it the other day. She was like, I feel like I hit 29. And she was like, I need hydrating concealer all of a sudden. And I was like, no, I feel that way too. Um, it's weird. I guess it's just your eyes are very different. I don't have like filler or anything under my eyes. I just have like disport and my forehead and my smile lines. So maybe that's why, I don't know. But 29, absolutely needed a more hydrating concealer, but I feel like whenever I find hydrating concealers, they're not full coverage. This one is both. And a little bit goes such a long way. So this is what I've got here with concealer, just adds a little bit of brightening. And then I move right into, oh, my arm hurts, holy cow. Sculpt tape. I need to get another one. Roman's fine if you guys can hear him yelling. <laughs> he is our loud, loud baby. He yells all the time and he is so happy. I've had this product for quite some time and I like it, but it can have a tendency to be a little bit on the like more watery side. So um, it lasts a long time because once you squeeze out even like the smallest amount of product, you're not gonna wanna squeeze out more for like four, five, six uses. Like it's, it's crazy. I just, again, use a brush. And then these two products, I actually use side by side before blending them in. So I do the blush first. This is the color Rosy. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I just love the way that looks. And then this is just, I think they only have two colors in this. This is, yeah, the original. They might've made more sense, but I have had this one bottle since before I was done with my pregnancy with Ezra, but I know I was massively pregnant. So two years, still very full. It is a lot of product. And then I take a brush and I just dab, 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 like this all over. And I don't really take it out of this area. And then I make sure I just flip the brush over because the highlight, of course, has been on this side. I need to clean my brushes so bad. And then I do the same thing. Dab, dab, dab. And you kind of want, with cont uh, with cream products, I find, you kind of want your makeup to look a little bit heavier. Like, you kind of want to have this extreme color because when you set it with powder, you lose some of that color. Excuse me. You lose some of that color. Use excess. I really need to clean my brushes. Like, today. I'll do that actually in the next vlog. This stuff is a game changer because it takes five seconds. There's no crazy rubbing. Like you're not taking your brush on a mat and like scrubbing it. And it gets them super, super clean. It's very expensive, but it'll probably only take this much for all of these. And they are going to be so clean. So that's what we're gonna do. All right. Givenchy powder. Oh, had a little bit on the side there. Um, this stuff is so good because it's color correcting, but you have to get the color based on your undertone. So the one that I have is the pastel, it's one, number one, and it's purple, pink, blue, and green. But that may not be your undertone, so definitely check on their product page. But this is what makes the biggest difference right here. So I just do powder all over half my face. This powder is, it's hard to explain. It's very like full coverage, but it doesn't give you a chalky look. It gives you a very flawless look, which again is what we're going for. Since I have tretinoin, I just like lighter powders and creams and stuff. And this I feel like sets your makeup without taking away that appearance. Like there are some powders I use, but like I might as well not even contour at all underneath with cream products. It just doesn't work. And then this, Game changer, going to set your makeup, last 
all day. Some people do this after their makeup's done. I don't find it necessary. I want my powder, like face, I want my face stuff to be what's set. So shake it. This is, in my opinion, one of the best like setting sprays on the market. I don't, I really don't think that there is one that is better than that one. Um, and I've tried a few. I've heard Patrick Ta, I think has one, maybe? Is that who that is? It's like a pink bottle. Um, it went viral on TikTok, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of thing. Anytime I try a new product, I'm just like, why am I doing this to myself? I have one that I love and either I end up with something that I hate or, and I don't love to return makeup products. Like I know people are always like, you can return it. And I'm like, that doesn't feel right to me. It feels like, um, I just, I don't know. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So love, love that one. This, by the way, I forgot to put it on when I was starting my makeup. This helps plump your lips over time. The review section was crazy. The comment section of the dermatologist who mentioned this on TikTok was crazy. People were like, I was gonna get filler and then I started using this and after six weeks of regular use, I don't need it, like I don't want filler anymore, so. Hi E, what you doing baby? Hey, Ezra, please don't say that. Mommy needs to stop saying that. It is an adult word that you can use when you pay bills. You can't use that word until you pay bills though. All right, and then the last thing I will do is I love, y'all know I love to like bathe in highlighter. This highlighter is absolutely beautiful. I just bathe in it basically. Anywhere, I already have really, like a lot of glow because of this right here. Oh, you got mommy's stuff. And we are ready for the day with our makeup. But you can see the lashes, they look so good. Um, and then I've been kind of trying to figure out, so I feel like that was probably a lot of makeup to some of you guys. When I look at it in the mirror, it looks light and glowy, but I still look like I have makeup on. That's always my goal. Like I like to look put together and feel put together. I can't master the art of the lips though, because I love lip products. I think you need to put lip products on every single day, but whenever I put lip liner and lipstick on, I feel like it doesn't look, do you guys know what I'm talking about? That like clean girl aesthetic that's going on right now? Like everyone, their makeup looks like light and glowy and they have mascara on and like harsh brows, which I love because I have really big brows. But if I put lipstick on, I feel like it just looks like this looks good, but this will come off in 30 minutes. So I don't know like what we're doing to get the clean girl look on our lips. Do I just put lip liner and then clear gloss on? I don't know. Let's try that. We'll try that. Just a lip liner. Okay. We're dressed, we're ready. I'm pulling my hair back again today because as much as I love it straight, I feel like you can't just like throw it up in a clip um, all day and then pull it down like you can see this right here. When it's curly, I can, and I need it out of my face today. So I have a lot of fun little work stuff I'm doing. So I'm just gonna spray. Oh, there it is. Gonna spray, and then I actually just use a teasing comb to get everything kind of back. And then Ezra has been wild this morning. He woke up grumpy. He's been barking lately. It is quite intriguing. I'm not, not gonna lie to you. So we are good to go for the day. Got my necklaces, everything will be linked of course. This sweatshirt is super comfy from Amazon. Let me show you. Gotta make the bed. Um, but it's just like super oversized, which going for today, I need comfy again, I have a lot to do. And then these are actually brown, they're Lululemon. Super high-waisted, such good leggings. I'm very bloated right now from all ant flow and they like suck all this in very nicely. So like I'd look about half
half as bloated as I usually do. Um, so here's today's fit. Thank y'all so much for watching this random vlog about all the things that I'm liking lately. But I will see you guys in the next video.